Sheila Jackson Lee, thank you for joining us once again. It's good to be back from Thanksgiving where we were with our constituents and our families. Ms. Lee. Well, it's a delight to have been here with the gentlelady from Ohio. We've worked together closely, the gentleman from New York. I always want to ask him how his fair constituents are dealing. They had some uh, serious mountains to climb, if you will, with their uh, recent hurricane, a very unusual set of circumstances. We joined together to uh, allow uh, those uh, communities to come back. Uh, wouldn't that be a perfect investment of rebuilding infrastructure? So, Garamandi, let me thank you for your long-standing history of putting things back together. I'm not going to call you the Humpty Dumpty man, but, but recognizing that we can put America back together and make it in America. Let, let me share uh, some maybe uh, uh, anecdotal uh, uh, uniqueness to this whole question of making it in America. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. It's a special holiday where we find time to say thanks. Uh, I heard that the gentleman from New York might have been given away a ham made in America. Uh, and I know that uh, the people who received uh, the ham were grateful for it. Uh, I had uh, the opportunity uh, to, to work with those. We had over 800 turkeys made in America uh, to be able to give to seniors and families. Uh, the joy was, of course, that uh, it was in the giving, but more importantly, here's a product that we made from start to finish. Yes, it's food. Uh, as we went down the aisles of the many grocery stores, since those were the highlights uh, of that season, is eating. People were buying goods, in most instances, that were made in America, and they bought them. And then, of course, that famous Friday uh, that uh, we can now tout uh, to be uh, the best Friday over a number of years, certainly 2010, $52 billion was spent by Americans in many instances on the electronic goods that were made in America. Uh, Steve Jobs is no longer with us, but he created that infrastructure of technology and uh, software and the sophistication of pretty things that many Americans went to buy, some $7 billion over 2010. And the studies indicated that, and that's all right to my good friends out there, uh, that Americans were buying first for themselves those electronic items that they wanted to have for this holiday season. Uh, as I um, begin to look at legislation to talk about jobs, uh, I'm going to try to make uh, the energy industry a little bit more friendly. And we'll be introducing uh, legislation that talks about creating jobs in that industry, but working in the environmental aspect of it, fixing the coastline, for example. As you well know, we have suffered through Hurricane um, uh, Rita, Katrina, Ike, and the deterioration of the coastline. So somebody wants to stop uh, us from going down the drain, I want to stop us from a disappearing coastline. I want you to have the beautiful beaches, uh, whether it is in the Alabamas and Louisiana, Texas, uh, the Floridas of the world, those coastlines have been deteriorating. We can find work or individuals can have work in fixing the beautiful coastlines. Even in South Carolina, uh, I know that uh, uh, the gentleman wants the coastline to be fixed. So there is not a lack of opportunity to fix work. Just heard my good friend from Massachusetts in the Rules Committee indicate that there are bridges uh, in the state of Massachusetts, a good friend, uh, Mr. McGovern, that are older in some states and that they need to be fixed. Uh, and that would be a sharing of the wealth to many, many different districts and states if we were to engage, as the President wanted us to do, to look at how we do the infrastructure. But making it in America is happening. Right now in the Carolinas, a young lady is bringing her company back from Sri Lanka, and she is using the textile industries. Uh, I don't have its full name, but it begins with MIT, using the textile industries to now make her product. So I came today uh, to say that I have hope. I'm an optimist. Uh, and many of the economists that we've been listening to, Jeffrey Sachs, for example, uh, and Mr. Spence, who I think I heard in the last couple of days, has indicated that we worry too much about the deficit and the debt, not to ignore it, but we really should be worrying about investing in America, rebuilding, make it in America, investing in infrastructure, creating jobs, and Americans will do what they did on last Friday. The date was uh, November 26, I believe uh, it might have been. Last Friday, 25th, last Friday, uh, and they went out and they bought goods, by and large, uh, made in America. Let's do more of that. Let's have the incentives that they need. And by the way, let's add the small business component to it. We had the buy 
a small business on Saturday, these small businesses are in America. And if you support a small business, you support one or two or three or four employees. So I am uh, grateful, as I said, I'm going to do this coastline bill. Uh, I can see just uh, eons of person being put to, to work. I can see uh, monies going in to reduce the deficit. We'll join that with the drain, uh, uh, if you will, the, uh, the infrastructure for our sewage and wastewater. Uh, comes under Homeland Security, by the way, and we have to protect that. Security issues. Uh, are also the infrastructure of security uh, provides jobs as well. I want to close on, on this note, uh, which it sounds as if uh, it's not uh, tied in, but it is. It really is uh, tied in. Uh, we have uh, uh, in the Thanksgiving uh, backdrop uh, was the acknowledgement, I'm not going to call it failure, of the super committee that they could not complete uh, their tasks. Let me, uh, on the record, I've said it in uh, public settings, thank the colleagues that accepted the challenge. But I want to say to my colleagues, let us not be uh, non-optimistic. Let us be, not be unhappy or disappointed or sad. Uh, frankly, the job of the Congress is to formulate the vision going forward on behalf of the American people. Let me tell you why I see we have been given an opportunity. Uh, some people only talk about defense. I talk about 46 million Americans that are on SNAP. Here's our chance. We can take the works of a Jeffrey Sachs. We can take the work of a, of a Mr. Spence who talks about infrastructure investment. Uh, we can find this long-term cuts of a trillion dollars, leaving out Medicare and Social Security and Medicaid. Uh, and we can find them in a way that talks about Bush tax cuts, but has a, a, a thoughtful way of looking at tax reform. And then we can put our vision forward that includes making it in America. My friends, we make defense products in America. I don't want uh, to be a war promoter. I want our troops home, but I believe in military preparedness. Those are jobs. We have a year to do it. We can throw off the shackles of partisanship and thoughtfully put forward a legislative initiative, which the President will not veto if there is uh, a plan uh, that includes a revenue, excuse me, uh, deficit reduction. Don't be afraid of doing our job. So I'm willing to say we have been given an opportunity, uh, just like uh, my Cougars are being given an opportunity for a championship this coming weekend at the University of Houston, uh, which will, by the way, create a lot of revenue with folk coming in from all over. But we have been given uh, an opportunity, and I am glad we're here on the floor to point out uh, that it is not the end, but it is the beginning. I simply ask that there be friends on the other side of the aisle that will join us in revenue, job creation, deficit reduction, revenue, job creation. We can pass these bills. We can join the Senate. Uh, we can do the payroll tax relief for a little bit and the unemployment, but we can create jobs. And I thank the gentleman for allowing me uh, to participate with you. I'm excited about the, the legislation that my colleagues have. Uh, I know I've worked with Mr. Tonka for uh, all that he has done in the legislative initiative and also you. So thank you so very much. And with that, I, I yield back to the gentleman with great optimism. Thank you very much. Uh, 